you know, you know, when your name comes up, yeah, uh, people, you know, you have a, seem to have a fantastic relationship with your fans mm. and, and a real loyal fan base. You know, it's like your success. Obviously, you require the supports of you know radio, whatever it might be. But there seems to be a particular connection you have with your fans where they're really loyal towards you and, you know, will follow you anywhere effectively. You yeah, get well, funny you say that because, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, being a musician, it's uh, it's a mo- it's not really a morning thing, it's a night thing. Mm-hmm. So I don't do well in the mornings and I was uh, I was on my way up here and I stopped at a petrol station to get, you know, diesel. And I went in to get a sandwich and I was just, I had the head on me of a bear and... The guard behind the counter was just like, "Oh, have you any gigs today?" And you kind of, I just forgot myself. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, I actually can't be that way. Like, you can't have the head." I, I was going to say, normally, did you, do you, did you get petrol or diesel? And they're asking what gigs are coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, that kind of. So to that girl, I apologise for me with the head like a bear. Uh, <laughs> But I also appreciate her. Yeah, but you keep it real anyway, don't you? I mean, that's your style, isn't it? There's no, yeah. there's no wears and graces. I mean, you're, you're yeah, it's a, pretty a, a much normal person, super talented, but you're, <laughs> you know, yeah, only human. So, uh, and fair play to her, she makes a mean flat white. 